In this video, I'm going to show you how you can downgrade your plan on Freedom Pop to make sure you're getting the free service. Now, in the last video, we unboxed our Sharp Equos Crystal White phone, which we did a quick review on that and set it up and activated it. And whenever you buy a phone from Freedom Pop, most of the time it's going to come with a month of free talk, a month of free premium data and things like that. If you do not cancel those services before the end of your term of the month, you will be automatically charged to renew that plan at the end of your billing cycle. Now, don't attempt to do this before you have activated your phone. You can't purchase a phone from Freedom Pop and then come right in and downgrade your plan. First, you have to get your phone, physically get it and activate it. Once you do that, then come to freedompop.com, log into your account. We are already logged in. We're on the home screen of our account. And as you can see, we have 27 days left in the billing cycle. We have unlimited talk and text and 12 gigs of data. That's because we got that free premium uh, one month trial. So let's go ahead and downgrade this plan. So we're sure we're only getting the free plan. Okay. You can do this anytime before the end of your billing cycle. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but hopefully I can walk you through it here. We'll go to my account and we'll just go to the overview. And here you can see your number, your credit balance, and you can see I've earned 10 gigs of free data this month. And right here under our services summary, this is what we have active. And also down here under my services, this is what we have active. So if we don't cancel this, we're going to be charged $24.99 at the end of the month and $7.99 at the end of this billing cycle to renew these plans. So first let's downgrade our voice, text, and data plan. There's nothing here that says downgrade. First you have to click upgrade, which is kind of weird. We'll click that first. You can see my plans right here, premium two gig. We want to go right here to details and plan management. And then we can see it's $24.99 a month. And way down here to downgrade your plan, click here. Way down here in this tiny text. So click that. Then you'll have a warning. Now, whenever we downgrade this plan, if you're on a trial, which we are, we're going to lose all additional minutes, messages, and data. So be sure to do this only if you're certain you don't want to use all of those free credits that you have. Okay. But I'm going to downgrade anyway. And then we have to type in our account password. And there we go. We're sorry to see you downgrade, blah, blah, blah. Double my data, which they're giving you an offer here. But I just want to downgrade only. You know, if you want to continue your service, maybe try canceling it first. I mean, it, <laughs> they may give you this offer or may instantly cancel it. I don't know. But I'm going to hit downgrade only. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so our plan has been successfully downgraded. We'll go to next. All right, now we can see immediately that premium plan we were on now we only have 200 minutes of talk, 500 messages, and we still have some of that free data, apparently. Okay, but we are not done yet. If you stop now, you can still get charged if you still have the premium service running. And by the way, keep in mind, you know, I've sent two messages with this phone. I've sent one and received one. That counts towards your 500, so sending and receiving uh, there. Okay, same for your talk. And we'll go back here to my account, and we'll go back to overview, and we'll make sure, aha, so my voice, text, and data plan, basic 200. So you can see that's free every month. But again, like I said, we're not done. We still have my services here, Freedom Pop Premium Plus. We want to go here to manage. And right here, my services, $7.99 a month. We'll go to view details. And you can see you're already benefiting from all of these services currently enabled. All of the stuff that you get. And again, way down here to deactivate this, you have to click right here. Now again, maybe if maybe you want this, I don't know. If you do, you know, pay the seven ninety nine a month. If you want completely free, you need to do this as well. So we'll go and click here, and we'll get the same thing about downgrading. All right. So we'll lose access to voicemail, over juices, alerts. That's fine. Downgrade anyway. We're sorry to see you go again. They're giving us this uh, six ninety nine a month, but I want to downgrade and lose data. You're about to downgrade. So by downgrading Premiere, you'll lose all rollover data, all of this stuff here. That's fine because I want a completely free phone. That's sort of the point, at least for me. If it's not for you, you know, Freedom Pop is still pretty inexpensive. All right. Successfully downgraded. Awesome. There we go. So we're not signed up for any services. Awesome. So let's go back to overview. And there we go. My services. Now we're not signed up for anything here and we're not signed up for anything here. So now you should be completely free. Now what happens if you go over something and they try to bill you? Well, let's go to billing and billing settings and down here where it says automatic top up enabled. Yes. We're going to turn that. We're going to take this off here. Right there. 
And because actual data usage may be delayed, blah, 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 you must have at least $5 in credits. So turn off auto top up and add $5 in credits. That's going to charge the card on file $5. So we'll just do that. I mean, I guess you don't have to do this step if you're very careful, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off and they can go ahead and charge me $5. That's fine. I don't care. So there we go. So now they're going to charge my card $5, give me $5 of top ups and automatic top up is now off. So if I start going over, they won't top me up. I won't get billed for it. At least I shouldn't get billed for anything at all now. And I should have a completely free phone service. So there you go. That is how you downgrade your plan on Freedom Pop from your trial plan to the actual free plan. Just make sure you do that from your your uh, your voice, text, and data plan and your My Services if you have any of those trial plans as well. And if you want to cancel that automatic billing, you'll have to pay them five bucks. Not a big deal. So that way you won't accidentally uh, be getting charged. So that is how you do it. Now, before we go, I'm going to use our phone to make sure it's still going to send a text message or receive a call. So let's head over to the camera to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and compose a message here. We'll just say free because this should be free service. We'll go ahead and send it. Let's see if we're still getting service. And you heard it right there. And there you go. Hopefully you can read that. It says free. There's the messages we sent earlier, but right there, free. So we're still getting our service. So getting our text messages from our Freedom Pop phone. All right, pretty cool. So that wraps up these two videos on Freedom Pop. Maybe we'll have more about the service after I've used it for a while. But overall, pretty impressed, especially since this should be 100% free now that we downgraded. Overall, this is a pretty darn nice phone. The Sharp Aquos or Equos Crystal. And this is the white version. Pretty nice phone, feels good in the hand. And we bought it from Freedom Pop. And now because we downgraded those plans, we should have 100% free talk, text, and data. All right, go check it out at freedompop.com.